Okay, everybody, I wanted to do another video maybe on a little more advanced features of the Microsoft Whiteboard application. Once again, what I would do is I would go into my teams. If I go into all my teams here and I go into my demo team, uh, what I can do is I can share out this application during the meeting. So when I go into my meeting, I can share it out. And I showed that in the previous uh, video. So I just want to go to the whiteboard itself here and just show a few of the features that I can use while I'm sharing it or just on my own. So if I go to Microsoft Whiteboard, and this is quite handy in a classroom as well, if you'd rather work uh, from your desk. Now, the only thing with the whiteboard is that it's nice to have a stylus or some way of drawing on the whiteboard utilizing a pen. Uh, there's two ways to do that. One is you can have a tablet, uh, like either a computer can be a tablet, or you could use uh, a separate tablet like a drawing tablet. The other option you have is your iPad works really well. So if you have a, one of the newer iPads with the pencil, that you can, well, there's an application, a whiteboard application on the iPad. I'm using a whiteboard on my computer, and I'm using a tablet just to make my drawing, uh, my writing a little easier. Drawing is fine with the mouse, but the writing is a little tricky. Okay, so I went through and I showed some of the features of the, the, the whiteboard. So again, I'll just go back here. So to create a new whiteboard, I just pop in here, create a new whiteboard, and I have a blank slate. What I want to show in this video is if I go into my pens, I can go in. If I click and hold let go, I can choose the thickness of my pen. I can choose the colors of my pen. So I often like to use colors as a way of communicating with students with different concepts being in different colors. So I'll use these pens. I often change the colors quite a lot. I usually keep this pen as a black pen. Keep the, uh, I usually don't have this as a green pen. I usually have this as a blue pen. So I can change the colors of the pens quite easily. Uh, they all have some fun pens in there like the rainbow pen, uh, the sparkly pen, gold pen, silver pen. Okay, so those are my pens, a highlighter, an eraser to get rid of things, uh, the measuring tool, a ruler, and a lasso in order to select different areas for things like erasing. Uh, that's, that's the pens. A very cool thing, and I showed it in the last video, was bringing a, an image in that allows me to work with images, and I demonstrated that in the last video. I can add a note in here, so I can type a note, you know, demo, so I can put the note in there as well um, if I want to. And then, of course, you can use pens to work with the note. Um, I can also go in and undo that, get rid of everything, um, so I can put a note in there. I can also add menu items. So these are many different things I can put on here. So I can do things like paste in there if I've copied something from my computer, add text in there, put a note uh, in there, uh, like a grid for the notes. I can do a list. That These are both preview items as with templates. These are all previews. I can bring in a Bing image. I can use my camera. So if I go to my camera, just be a picture of me smiling. So I take a snapshot of that and I close this and close this, right? So I could have put, brought that image in there. So you can go to your camera and grab a, in there. You can bring in a PDF or Word document, which is handy for marking things up. Uh, a PowerPoint document. So if I go into my PowerPoint documents and I'll just grab uh, something from my that I'm teaching here. Let me just grab uh, Microsoft Teaching. There it is, Microsoft Learning, and I'll just grab a generic PowerPoint in there. So I can grab a PowerPoint slide. So these are all Microsoft slides, but let's say I want to grab one of my slides here. I can choose a slide in there, insert that selected, and now I can go in here and say, you know, let's mark this up with a pen. I can say, you know, um, digital, right? You know, so I can do stuff with a PowerPoint slide. So. You know, it's kind of cool in there and uh, can work with that. Okay, I'll just undo that, undo my typing or my writing, and undo the insert. So those are all uh, menu items that I can put in there, and those are handy. You can also access the menu here, which gives me uh, the ability to th do things like clear my canvas, format my background, uh, modify where my toolbar is. Um, I can do things uh, like export this out, and I demonstrated that in the last video as well. Other things that you can do when you're working in this environment is, uh, let's say I go back here. Once I've gone back and I have all the slides here, you also, I can choose the, I didn't want to do that, sorry. Go back here. I can choose the ellipse here, and that gives me some uh, abilities to go like invite participants and do some work in there as well. And if I go back into this slide, okay, so I have my slide here. 
Um, you notice here I can invite the participants here as well. I can create a web sharing link if I want people to get to it. I can get information about my own profile in there. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm logged into this one with uh, the wrong account. So I've actually, so that's another thing I can do is I can go in here and I can sign out of this account. And then I can go in and sign into my whiteboard and I can use my uh, school account and sign me in here. And now I'm going to be signed in with my school account. So now this will be shared. Uh, this is better for me to use my school account. And then on my iPad, if I sign in with my school account, I'll have shared whiteboards. Okay. Um, so we go in here and underneath here again, I have all the, the things that I can do here in terms of working with uh, the whiteboard. When I go in, let me just pop in here and open up, go back here. Uh, let me choose. So these are all different whiteboards. You'll notice I have different whiteboards here now because these are my state ones. The other ones I did under my company. Um, what was it like kind of a defunct company, but anyways, um, so you get the, the options that are in here and available to you. I can make changes to a whiteboard, add a new whiteboard. Now I'm white, adding a school whiteboard, uh, same options. Okay. So that's a little bit more of the advanced features in the, the whiteboard that I have. The other things that I can do is because I'm logged in with my school account, I can actually send this to OneNote and post it to my team. So, um, so if I post it to my team, I can choose the teams that I have. Um, I don't have teams for my uh, other business. So there's all my teams that I have here. So it makes it easier when I have my whiteboards uh, logged into my school account because then I can just post it to the OneNote and I can post it to the, the teams as well. Hopefully this was a helpful video and you had a chance to see some of the advanced features within the whiteboard and a little overview of it. It's a super handy tool and it's worth investing a few moments to get familiar with it uh, in order to, to more effectively teach using it.